Hello, everyone, and we are Team Sport Check. Our members are Parvish, Prakshi, myself, Jeremy, and Hustam. We're going to start our presentation by looking at the industry overview and the company overview. The industry overview. The Canadian sporting goods stores industry retails bicycles, camping equipment, exercise and fitness equipment, apparel, footwear and other sporting goods and accessories. Industry revenue is forecast to grow at an annualized rate of 1.4% to 6.2 billion over the five years to 2026. Moreover, profit is expected to grow during the same period. Demand determinants for the industry. Income, sporting participation level, sporting trends, and geographic location of stores. The key external drivers for the industry are number of children aged 19 and younger, per capita disposable income, demand for gyms, health and fitness centers. Now we'll look at SportCheck as a company. Canadian Tire owns SportCheck brand. Along with that, they operate under the sport, Canadian Sporting Goods Stores industry, along with sports experts, Atmosphere, and Pro Hockey Life. SportCheck generates revenue from its retail operations, in addition to deriving royalties from franchisees. According to the company's 2020 annual report, there were 397 sport check stores across Canada. Now I'll hand over to Prakshi. For our market segmentation, we have devised two segments, primary and secondary. Primary is adventure-driven Noah, and secondary is defined by hardworking Hannah. For our geographic segmentation, our key target markets in Canada are now Ontario, British Columbia, and Alberta. We already have solid footholds in these provinces with a total of 191 outlets. Our stores are in high uh, traffic areas such as malls and urbanized areas. Uh, for our uh, demographic segmentation, we are recognizing the key demographic of 18 to 35 year age group who are active in sports and consume media online. That's our primary segment. We're also targeting children aged below 18 years as they account for one of the highest uh, sports participation rates. And this segment is anticipated to increase to 0.9% according to Ivis World. So it's a very attractive uh, segment that we are looking at. Uh, our primary target income group is uh, upper class families having high disposable income because this income group has the most health and fitness conscious individuals, which stimulates more uh, demand for sporting goods. Our secondary segment would also include middle class families since SportCheck includes uh, affordable brands as well. For our psychographic uh, segmentation, uh, consumers buy products and services because of their primary motivations, that is how they see themselves in the world and how that self-image uh, governs their activities. So we are targeting people who are uh, motivated by achievement. We are targeting achievers, strivers, who look for products and services that demonstrate success to their peers. They are also goal-oriented, view money as a source of authority, and are active consumers. They're also trendy and favor stylish products and sometimes even uh, customized products according to their needs and wants. For our behavioral segmentation, we are primarily targeting uh, consumers who are looking for high quality, fashionable products as well as comfort and a unique in-store experience. And these are the top benefits that they would uh, look at. And uh, for the seg uh, secondary segment, uh, we are uh, uh, targeting the uh, budget conscious consumers uh, for whom uh, price is a very uh, important factor and also uh, accessibility in terms of uh, the uh, number of locations. Um, lastly, our targeting strategy is uh, micro marketing, since we offer several options to consumers who want custom products. Um, an example would be a Reebok, uh, build your own sneaker kiosk, uh, let consumers create their own designs. Sporting fans can create a custom Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, Toronto Blue Jays or uh, Team uh, Canada jersey that includes the name and the number of their favorite player. That's all about the market segmentation and targeting. I would request uh, Parvesh to take over from here. 
Thank you, Prakshi. About brand products and services. Sport check is not just a brand, it's a feeling. Sport check covers multifaceted brands for men, women, and kids covering apparel as well as footwear. But it doesn't stop over there only. It provides electronics and customized jerseys for fans of six major leagues. It also covers nutrition and wide variety of different objects that one giant sport retail can cover. Sport, cheat, uh, sport check as a brand provides many services to keep their consumers happy. They provide free shipping for orders above $99, as well as free in-store and curbside pickup. Their return policy is also flexible, varying up to 30 days for full refund and 50% on 60 days return, giving sufficient time to its consumer to make up their mind and have a joyful moment from sport check. Now on to their competitive review. The sport goods stores industry in Canada has a low market share concentration. As competition intensifies, many companies have conducted mergers. The Canadian Tire Corporation Limited makes up to 36.4% of the market. Canadian Tire owns sports brands such as SportCheck, Sports Experts, Atmosphere, and other sports stores. So their direct competitors includes uh, brands like Decathlon. Decathlon provides a wide range of products for very cheap prices, although they do lack in quality. Decathlon provides products for lots of activities such as camping equipment, bags, bottles, watches, etc. However, they do not serve much hockey and football and they do not have jerseys. Their area A are their in-house brands such as Kipsta for soccer, Tarmac for basketball and Artengo for tennis. And they are sold at much cheaper prices. Now moving on to Sporting Life, who have a 9.8% market share. They provide equipment for a narrow range of sports. They have better options for tennis equipment and racket sports, and they have a strong focus on winter sports such as skiing, snowboarding, and snowshoeing. Their area A is that they are very good in quantity and quality when it comes to winter sports equipment. Another competitor is Source for Sports, who have a low variety of sports, but they focus a lot on hockey. They have a wide variety of well-known brands as well, such as Puma, Adidas, and Nike. Their area is that they have a lot of good, well-known brands, and they are a very good provider of hockey products. Now on to Parvesh with the area A. Sport Check has a competitive advantage over its competitors. It is a multifaceted company that provides equipment for more sports than any other sports retails. Not only they provide Sports, or sports equipment with high quantities and quality. They are also in marginal price. They are the only store that sells jerseys and merchandise for famous sport teams that are loved all over the world for leagues such as NBA, NHL, NFL, Premier League, and many more. Their stores have multiple sections of products for different brands that are very well known, uh, known to us, which are Adidas, Nike, Puma, Under Armour, etc. Positioning statement to you by Jeremy. So having reviewed all that um, about the industry and sport check, this is our positioning statement. For all sports enthusiasts and adventure seekers, sport check is the premier destination for sports, fitness, and wellness that offers the largest collection of sporting equipment and accessories because only sport check provides its customers with world-class stores digital customization, along with the helpful and attentive staff who support its customers in having fun and living healthy lifestyles while actively participating in their favorite sports. I'll now hand back over to Parvesh. Thank you, Jeremy. Now you must be like thinking that how sport check bounced back from declination and COVID. The sports retailer came out swinging this year, upping its market game with a greater emphasis on digital and move, and move from Kivski product focus advertising to heart pounding brand anthems. Duncan Fulton, the chief marketing officer at FGL Sports, uses boxing terminology when asking the list to sports checks top marketing accomplishment from the last 18 months. The sports equipment and apparel retailer underwent a major rebrand basis based on extensive consumer research conducted by Toronto firm Sklar Wilton. Not only that, they had strict uh, COVID measures when it comes to uh, uh, tackle the pandemic. And that's how sport check bounced back from declination and COVID 
and that's sport check for you guys thank you very much